most of us would not get through our life without hitting on our head at least once in a lifetime after all accidents happen and a minor bump usually is not a great concern but sometimes hitting your head can lead to serious injuries so it's important to know when you can walk it off or when you should head straight to the emergency room of a hospital a head injury is a serious matter if it causes injury of a artery or a vein inside the skull this injury can cause bleeding in our brain the most dangerous place to get hit on the head is on the either side of the head over the ears the skull here is the thinnest and there's a artery called middle meningeal artery which can burst and cause direct bleeding into the brain or on the surface of the brain if too much of this blood accumulates it can cause tremendous amount of pressure in the closed calvarial cavity or the skull cavity which leads to serious injuries of the brain let us discuss some symptoms which tell us when we require urgent medical attention after a injury to the head headache after a head trauma is not a good combination headache can be because of raise in the intracranial pressure as the bleeding inside the brain accumulates or there is swelling of the brain after a injury to the head experiencing unconsciousness for more than few minutes is a matter of concern nausea and vomiting after being hit to the head is a symptom which occurs because of increased pressure inside the brain after the brain gets injured experiencing weakness on one side of the body is another symptom of brain injury confusion blurred vision slowness of response difficulty in finding words or speaking or sensitivity to light and sound are also signs of head injury which is of concern experiencing fits or seizures after a head injury is also an symptom of concern one may not experience all these symptoms immediately so we should monitor it for few hours after the injury the sooner the injured person goes to the hospital the better treatment he gets and the earlier treatment he gets long term prognosis is better as we age our brain and blood vessels becomes more fragile and we are more prone to injury especially if you are above age of 65 there is a chance to develop a condition called chronic subdural hematoma which sometimes needs to be operated upon so when in doubt head to a doctor